So what is primary immune response? Primary immune response means when our immune cell recognize a pathogen or antigen for the first time. A immune cell when recognize a pathogen or antigen for the first time it is in the naive condition. Naive means these cells have not yet recognized this type of pathogen or antigen. But after recognizing the pathogen or antigen it becomes activated or it is called effector cell. And this effector cell in case of B cell is called plasma cells. These are short lived plasma cells in lymphoid organs. Plasma cell means those B cell can secrete antibody. In this case it is showing the B cell but T cell also can be activated. And after uh, 7 days of infection, so this is the first infection of a new pathogen. Here it is showing two plot like amount of antibody or titer of antibody against the days after antigen exposure. So you can see after first infection the highest level of antibody to reach the highest level of antibody it requires 0 to 7 days. And after the elimination of the antigen or the pathogen the level of antibody falls. And in this case I want to mention our immune system gives a gift every time when there is a new infection and the gift is long lived plasma cells that can reside in the bone marrow and can remain for years. But if there is second infection or repeat infection of the same pathogen or antigen, now the B memory cell react, it can be memory B cell or memory T cell. So in the first case the primary immune response the naive cell respond infection or after first infection if there is a, another round of infection or subsequent exposure of repeated infection or antigen now the memory cells react and one in, in, interesting fact is memory cell respond very vigorously and fast. So you can see after second time infection the antibody titer goes very high and the duration to go to this height is very short. In first case first infection it was 7 days now it is 3 days. And here also plasma cells produce antibody that can eliminate the pathogen or antigen and long lived plasma cells in bone marrow. Now here is the differences between primary and secondary immune response. The feature is magnitude and primary immune response the magnitude is smaller means the peak is smaller and in case of secondary response the magnitude is larger. Antibody isotype, it means what type of antibody plays the role. In case of primary immune response, usually IgA molecule play major role than the IgG. But in case of secondary immune response, relative increase in IgG molecules have occur and under certain situations or depending on the pathogen or surrounding milieu, surrounding milieu means uh, surrounding cytokines that are produced by TH cell or other immune cells, it can produce IgA or IgE. Another important fact is antibody affinity. Affinity means strength of interaction with antigen. In primary immune response, lower average affinity and more variable you can remember lower average affinity lower but in case of secondary immune response the affinity is higher average affinity there is a procedure occurs in the B cells or in the antibody it's called affinity maturation in my another class I will explain what is affinity maturation in more details 
and this primary immune response can be induced by all immunogens immunogens means those antigen can develop or induce immune response all immunogens means it can be protein carbohydrate lipid or nucleotides but in case of secondary immune response only protein antigens are can induce secondary immune response you can also remember a uh, thymus dependent antigen can develop only secondary immune response because thymus dependent antigen are protein in nature and thymus independent or thymus dependent both antigen can induce primary immune response hope this video will help you if you have any doubt or question in your mind you can write in the comment thank you for watching and always keep learning